Well, shout out to you. I mean, you, I feel like I'm always impressed when I see someone with a beautiful voice also be a pothead. Really? Oh, I'm yeah. Like, you because... smoke a lot to have to be able to sing like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it helps the raspiness of people's voices. True. If you got the raspy thing going, I, I get yeah. that. You've also kind of been like uh, one of the go-to like hook people, I feel like, for a lot of rappers. What has been like your favorite hook you've cut that wasn't for your own shit? For my own song, a hook? Um... Um, I think, you know, I, I did one for Jeezy. Mm -hmm. It's um Jeezy, Benny the Butcher, um, the real hood songs. <laughs> I just like I like being the bringing the sugar to the spice or like however that. you would say it. Like I like being the sweet voice that comes on like a real rough neck kind of song. Um it's easy to do it with melodic rappers. Of but course. I, I like to specifically do hooks on like the thug thugged out song. Well, cause yo, like in the two thousands, that was the thing. That was a thing. Yeah, you would have like a I would have been that girl with an amazing dope female yeah. singer or male singer, and it would yeah. be like a dope record. Like even back when, like I mean, I love Tupac. Like I grew up on Tupac. My mm -hmm. mom loved Tupac. So like the women that he would have on there, like just singing their heart out. I feel like if I was back in that era, that would have been me. You would have been on the Tupac yeah. songs. Yeah, it was is Tupac like your goat? My goat. Yeah, like, who's your favorite? Um, I never really said he was my goat. Um, who's my? I mean, he's he's definitely like a fave. Yeah, you know? and like I I have a lot of faves that are like OGs, like like Whitney Houston. You Shout know? to Whitney. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I love 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 Tupac. Who's who? Do you think? Uh, I think Whitney's probably got the best voice ever. Best voice ever. Um. She has a very She's like very like, powerful. I think it's like what her Adele. one of the best voices. Adele there too. Um Kiki Wyatt um for sure. Her voice is insane. Of course Beyoncé's voice is insane. Beyoncé's the goat. But that's like I mean look, yeah, Beyonce, everybody knew that. Beyoncé's like the best performer. Um I've ever but Whitney's vocals I just feel like you put a Ugh. like we're in a room there's no mics you just got a belt. She I probably like just command the everybody. whole room like, Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Whitney. What's your uh, what's your come, growing up? What was like your favorite top two or three R and B albums? Top two or three R and B albums. Hmm. Do I have to say albums? Because sometimes yeah, I would just pick songs from oh, albums. Okay, okay, give me those. My top two growing up. Um, I listened to a lot of. Now this is only up for my mom. What she would listen to? Like I listened to a lot of um. Monica, Lauren Hill, mm. um, TLC, SWV, uh, Ashanti, and uh, A. Marie. A. Marie was fire, yeah. Shh, I love, I wanted to be here when I was little. Shout out to Ashanti. She just re-recorded her, her albums because she didn't own her master. So mm. she did a whole new version of her debut album. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to stream Ashanti, go stream get the new version. Yeah, go get that. she gets support. paid off of that. Yeah. I, and see, that's a beautiful thing. I I currently own my masters, so that's amazing. Yeah, I was that something that you got from the jump, or did you have to negotiate that? I got been, it you, from been, the jump. Okay, that's, from from the beginning of being signed. That's important. Yeah, very important. Um, because now you don't have to resing your shit in twenty years. Yeah, because it'll ha it happened. I mean, Taylor Swift just had to do it. You know, yeah, that's crazy. I think maybe they had to redo it because back then maybe it was stricter things stricter policies there was on. worse deals back then oh yeah this the record deal. deals back then were terrible mm. they were the worst well shout out to god shout out to you you got the uh, you also had the leverage to ask for your masters because a lot of artists if they're brand new they don't have like you have i came i came in with leverage when i was sure. in sign because i already had a fan base you had the youtube, YouTube yeah, yeah the youtube going yeah yeah i already have a fan base so if no one else in the world listens to me my my five million or whatever percentage of them they're gonna listen to. I was gonna me. say coming in as like a you like someone who had a YouTube fan base, you've done such a great job of like people. Well, first of all, you have people who know you from that, but you also have people who just know the music. But I feel like you've kind of been the kind of sole example. I think DDG's done a solid mm -hmm. job. I'm the as well. female. He's the male. But I feel like you did such a good job of like I don't even think of you as like that. Like there's been really? some YouTubers making music. And the music sucks. And then they go back to YouTube. Yeah. But you're like, uh, to me, you're an artist first now. Like, you're yeah. so talented I mean, and the music's so high level. I like to say that I, I'm not a YouTuber that turned into an artist. I've I've always been an artist that just turned into a YouTuber. And right. And now I'm doing what I was supposed It just so happened that, like, some people discovered you on YouTube Yeah, that first. was the, right. I guess that was the thing. Because, you know, I did American Idol um, two times, well, 
I'm just say one because the first time I didn't even make the first round, but I did American Idol and I thought that was my way when I was 18. Mm-hmm. I thought that was going to be my way to, you know, to make it, to yeah. make it. How far did you get? Um, I think top 40 and they booted me. They were booting groups. They had to get rid of people. So I, you know, they were tripping. Yeah. I, my dreams were really crushed, but I was young. Right. And so then from then I was like, I'm not going to really do music anymore. Maybe this industry is not for me. Maybe I should just do gospel. You know, I grew up singing in church. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I started YouTube because, like, I mean, I had a, I had got pregnant, I had a son, we was broke, and like YouTube was, you know, it was, it was there. It was it's, there. It's people could fr- get paid for, for it. people don't know it's free to like. If you have a camera, you have an iPhone. Yeah, you, you could make a YouTube channel. We, we were doing it off of care. iPhone. Yeah, yeah, and then eventually, when you get that first check, you get your camera. But like, I, I still say, like to this day, um, you know. I left YouTube for a little bit, but I'm I'm going back. You are. Uh, I'm going back. Well, I used to do like pranks and and vlog, daily vlogs and things like that. Would you do, you would do like the fake couple pranks? Or yeah, I will say yeah, some of them were planned. Yeah, because it's entertainment. Yeah, like, yeah. You know? But um, I won't do those things anymore because I just feel like that's cringy now. And oh, because they're obviously fake. Yeah, I mean, no, no, people will still it's watch a the lot fake of pranks. but a lot of those like shots of my guy Mystic who was one of those. They're and, still fake. They they were so fake, and I was just like, God. How yeah, many but times, it's like people will watch How many times can you fake cheat on your girl before she realizes <laughs> it's not <Yeah>. real? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just like that's. The but it works. But I think that was it like a, That was an era of YouTube. Yeah, like everybody knew. Like no one's getting a pencil stuck in their eye. Like you know right. what I'm saying. But um. What are you gonna do now? So no, I that's what I was getting to. Um, so I decided to go back and. I don't know why I called it a podcast because now it's super being, it's like being taken serious. So now I have a responsibility to keep up. But so I decided to take my best friend. Her name is Dami V, who also does music. But um, we be having conversations on the phone and stuff. So I decided to just do do that as like a chit chat, girl talk. But so it turned into a podcast and it got a lot of views and people have already reached out like trying to buy or put it on their Listen, platform. Don't sell it yet. Yeah, yeah, I w- I wasn't gonna do that. No, but way. what you should do is do it once a week. You got to be consistent. Once a week, yeah, or or twice a month at the very least. So like, I literally this is my. I only have my second. Um, my second one is coming out tomorrow. My okay, second. So, yeah. Episode. So if you guys can have like a consistent drop schedule, yeah. Whether it's twice, I would. I wouldn't do anything less than twice a month. Yeah. But if you could do once a week, do once a week. But do it for like a year, and then you that'll be another seven figure bag for you. Mm. Because I mean. There's other podcasts that are not as uh that yeah. aren't very good that are yeah doing doing good I mean some money. 